Hello, my name is Jonathan Brown and I completed the front end course with Treehouse.com with Code Louisville. I made a website for my father's church. Won't you please have a look? This is a website I made for a local church called Highland United Methodist. And this is the home page. I have several features on this home page and the first one I like to show is the header. As you can see with this header, I have it set up to dissolve in the slideshow. And I think this is a nice element that gets to show off a lot of the church and gets to show the visitor of the site what this church looks like. For, for this, I use the brackets code editor. And here in the code are the pictures from the header, all 12. And to get this effect, I use jQuery. I found this code online. I had some help modifying it to get the desired effect that I wanted. And once the slideshow goes through, it stops on this one image. I thought a slideshow going the whole time would be a bit of overkill. Now to the other features of this front page. Over here, I have a, ra a random Bible verse generator, and I'll show you how it works over here in the code. Down here at the bottom, I have some JavaScript set up. I saw some JavaScript similar to this in the treehouse lessons that we learned, and I took it and adapted it for this performance on this website. I have 10 different Bible verses here, and when you come to the website, it'll randomly load one of the 10. Refresh it, and you should be getting a different one. I think this is a nice little interactive element for the visitors of the website and hopefully they will notice. Another interactive element of this website is over here to the right with the information about church service. Now when you take your cursor and you hover over it, it changes colors. I think this is a nice little interactive function and I hope it keeps the visitor entertained when they come to this website and that's keeping them here even longer. Another feature that can be found on the bottom of every page here is this little social media media icon linked to Facebook. And hopefully this will help draw more traffic to their Facebook page and get more users socially interactive with the church. Now on to the other pages of this website. First up is worship and is worship and this is just a pretty straightforward image and information about worship not too complicated code over here is how to find us oh I forgot to mention unlike the home page where it has the slideshow all the other pages aren't set up for a slideshow they just have one image because I thought having a slideshow on every page would get repetitive fast. Now on this find us page I have a Google map set up and I will show you that over here in the code. The code is right down here. Right here. And obviously I would like for this church to easily be found and if people come here they can use the Google map and get directions and hopefully come visit this lovely church. Another feature is right here which is the email, a link to the email so people can email the church and get in contact and more information about this church if they desire. It's taking a second for this to get the email information up probably pop up here in a second. Now on to mission and history. Here's the all the mission and history information about this church which has been going on for over a hundred years. I'd say one difference about this page and all the others is the text alignment right here for the piece as it is not centered like the rest of it and the letters here are bold and capital obviously and I use that using the CSF 
CSS code, which I'll be showing you later on, as long, along with the responsive elements of this website. Now here's the small groups and serving information. And as you can see here, I have an image with a title with the drop shadow for it. And I think that looks very nice and fitting. And again, here's information about small groups and getting together and interactive with this church. Now onto the leadership page. Again, this is just more information about the church, who runs it, who you need to know and get in contact with. Again, pretty straightforward. And lastly, it's the outreach page, which is another image and a bunch of information about how this church helps the, the society and what they do to outreach. And all the code for that is here in this HTML, and it's all pretty straightforward, not too complicated. Now on to the CSS. Here's my CSS information, which took a lot of time to code. And I'll take you down to the media queries where the responsive elements are. Here's the media query elements, and I'll show you how they work. So here's the home page, and I'll bring you down here to the Bible verse and the church service information. And you view this on a smaller device. The church service information is now above the random Bible verse generator. And as you I'll reload the page, and the random Bible verse generator still works. And also, here on the worship page, before there is a picture but I took that picture away because I thought it will look better without the picture. Here it is on a smaller device, say tablet or phone. And here it is on your desktop with the picture intact. I didn't find this picture appropriate enough to want to save over to the smaller format. I did however keep the picture the small group setting because I thought it was more appropriate with the header and title being over it and taking it smaller I did begin to cut off some of the picture but still remains intact for the most part and this is the smallest element for coming to this website and back to the home page with the smallest element when you go to the bottom, the random Bible verse is no longer there, but the church service information still is. Because I thought on a device that's small enough for this, I thought the random Bible verse wasn't fully necessary. So I took that away just like I did with the picture in the worship section. Thank you for looking at my website. What I'd like to do next is launch the website, and eventually i like to take the back-end course around January, but before then, I like to enter the workforce. Once again, my name is Jonathan Brown, and thank you for your time.